Hello YouTube, this is Satish here from Toronto. Once again with an awesome video of my African cyclic tank. Uh, this is my 125 gallon tanks uh, that you guys have been seeing for a long time. Uh, what I have here is Embuna's Peacocks and Haps. I was uh, posting a video series on how to get the African cichlids colored up uh, the fast and easy way kind of thing. But uh, unfortunately five months ago like my uh, tank busted right in this corner by the seam and uh, I had 125 gallons of water on the floor uh, cleaned up the mess uh, transferred all the fish inside my 65 gallon tank and uh, I have a trout cichlid that lives inside the 65 gallon tank and he's a predator and I had no choice uh, so even now he's looking to attack even from a different tank kind of thing he killed about 25 uh, of my fish, my German Red uh, and uh, what do you call the Taiwan Reef breeding pair is all gone. So whatever is left over is left over. So basically what I did is like I decided to build a rock wall background for the tank because I was told that I don't have enough rocks in the tank. Uh, that uh, you know it's not good uh, or healthy environment for these uh, fish because these guys are rock dwellers so I decided to build a rock wall background and uh, once I decided I also need to put away the filter and the heater and stuff like that so what I came up with is like I built a overflow box on this side because I never had any uh, overflow system before and to this corner I built a filter box as you can see the intake is at the bottom so this uh, filter box a flu wall fx6 is taken care of from that side and uh, this side is overflow sump uh, so that's pretty much I have a 40 gallon tank as a overflow sump I also have a couple of uh, pumps on either side like to uh, agitate the water and put some bubbles inside the plastic plants are simply to protect the little kids uh, from getting eaten and uh, yeah they are doing pretty good they can stand their ground but still it's better to have a safe uh, hiding ground because some of these guys are, are big and uh, what else uh, let me show the overflow system So this is a box kind of thing that I built and there is the water overflowing and look at the clarity of the water it's been three weeks since I changed the water I usually change every week 50% but uh, I just left it uh, like this to, to see like you know how long it's gonna last kind of thing but it's been three weeks and uh, it's still going strong so I'm happy with the system, the way it works. And I also added a couple of uh, bracings uh, for extra support. So in future, I don't, I don't have any problems with the seam breaking off. And uh, I also have a Fluval FX6, like I said, that is on this corner. Same like an overflow box, but uh, the exact opposite because you know the water flows from the bottom. I also have a Jagger heater in there because I don't want to rely on the heater from uh, the sump alone. So as far as the sump goes, there you go, that's the sump. So the water that comes from the top, it uh, exits over here. I have some sponge, I have some, uh, what do you call, the pot scrubbies. Uh, the second chamber is basically a couple of heaters and a thermometer. Third chamber is ceramic meteor. Fourth chamber is bio balls and uh, the fifth chamber is refugium I need to add more plants I was doing another experiment regarding uh, some hardy plants uh, so I guess I killed uh, the rest of the plants but this guy survived that's a pond pump that's 1800 gallons an hour that's uh, doing a pretty good job on this side from there the water goes inside a turbo twist uh, ultraviolet filter and from there it goes back inside the tank so this side I keep my Fluval FX6 uh, filter and uh, 
that's gonna take care of the job too that's a massive filter so this is basically the 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 general design that I have now hopefully you guys like it so please comment subscribe and uh, if you need help with building a rock wall background uh, although you don't like the design or whatever you want to change it up to to your own personal uh, design and uh, we want to know like what to use to coat uh, you actually use uh, what do you call uh, dry lock ULG dry lock latex base and along with that you mix quick create color you will see people using uh, concrete and cement and stuff like that never use that on a styrofoam because it'll uh, break after a couple of months three months and then like you'll have like uh, pieces floating uh, above also when you stick the styrofoam together never use silicone because if you use silicone then you're gonna have damages you might have damages what you use is a product called foam fusion glue which you can buy in the uh, foam sculpting stores uh, and uh, along with that like once you take a paintbrush and you brush the foam fusion glue on the styrofoam one piece you put a couple of drops three drops of silicone to it and then you you push it down then it's never going anywhere that silicone is going to hold it down temporarily uh, until uh, the foam fusion glue fuses the, the uh, styrofoams together and once that is done then you coat it with uh, the ULG dry lock uh, with a quick read uh, color first coat with a dark uh, color and then uh, lighter and then uh, lighter so you actually add uh, some brown some white and all that like to make uh, it look different so uh, once that is done leave it to dry for like a good uh, week or so and then uh, you take uh, a pour on two parts epoxy it's a uh, epoxy but you have to make sure that you mix it properly properly otherwise you're gonna have some wet spots I ended up having a couple of wet spots uh, right over here and then like I fix those uh, but it's a pain in the ass so uh, what you guys do is like you take a drill you put a uh, brush to it and uh, then you put the drill with the brush inside the cup where like you mix the epoxy uh, you mix it very well until it's nice and warm and then like uh, you kind of paint it right so it forms a insulation it forms a glass coating and uh, once that was dried like it takes only six hours for that to dry but I let it dry for the whole night and uh, immediately the next day it was ready to use and I did not uh, let any chemical seep through the water it was pretty good so uh, my plecos are, are really enjoying uh, the rock wall background actually so hopefully you guys like uh, the idea the design whatever uh, let me know if you guys interested and I can help you out too so these are the stuff that I have trout cichlid is still looking to kill <clears throat> that's my smaller 40 gallon tank a hexagon and I got uh, a few yellow labs and some hybrids in there, all babies. So yeah, uh, shoot me emails, uh, comment, subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Take care.